Welcome to the show that looks at truth, fiction, and reality with a smirk. I'm Aaron Peterson. I'm Amanda Sink. And I'm Zach Parkerson. And welcome to Smirk. Each week, one of our hosts introduces an original story, which we then use as a springboard for our spirited and lighthearted discussion on whatever the moral or theme of their story is. Uh, Amanda. Let uh, me guess. You you're like going to ask me for a tease. No, nope, I'm not, because you never <laughs> give one. So, hey, You know what, uh, Amanda? Could you give us a tease for this week's story? Oh, oh. Well, since Zach is asking. You have one? Yeah. Oh, man. She's, like, she's prepared now. It, it took, took like, like 30 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to talk about relationships. Oh boy. And perceptions. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm already asleep. Attraction. Yeah, I'm getting I'm waking up again. <laughs> tell me. Tell me more. <laughs> so we're going to talk about some interesting stuff, hopefully. We'll see where the story goes or where the discussion goes. The story is good, at least, I think. Well, that's cocky. Maybe. Yeah, wow, very egotistical all of a sudden, Amanda. Yeah. It dropped real fast, guys. What's going guys. on, Tony Stark? <laughs> if I was Tony Stark, I'd be pretty happy, though. Yeah, you would. You'd be Spider-Man's uncle. All right, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Taylor is a vivacious blonde junior at her university, incredibly smart, really sweet, and wicked funny. She's on the gymnastics team and a four-time nationals competitor, taking gold for her team twice. All of her friends, and even those she doesn't know, admire her and want to be her. By all accounts, she's probably the woman you'd imagine would be in a sorority and partying on the weekends. But she isn't. Taylor's different. What Taylor likes to do on the weekends when she's not training for gymnastics is play video games, board games, watch movies, and cosplay. She takes pride in being a bit of a nerd, and that's also what she looks for in a guy. Now. But that wasn't always. You see, Taylor's last boyfriend, Justin, was what you'd expect a pretty and popular girl to be into. Justin was a popular athlete, really fun to be around, always in a crowd. But he wasn't really interested in Taylor, he just liked the attention he got from it and he couldn't stand the things Taylor was truly passionate about. He would make fun of her and tell her they had better things to do. So one day, she finally walked away from him. She did it in private, was never callous, and just explained that they were two different of people. Justin went out with his buddies that night and told them he left her because she was so boring and lame, telling them all about the nerdy things she was into. People began judging her and talking behind her back, but she didn't care because she finally felt free. So flashback to now, and Taylor is owning the person she is. She recently went to an anime convention and met this wonderful guy, Alex, who is about her height, a little bit skinny, sweet and funny, and is interested in the same things as she is. They've been seeing each other for about a month, and they've really hit it off. One day after finals, he shows up to her school with flowers as a surprise, and who happens to be standing there when they hug and kiss but Justin, his guy friends, and her fellow gymnast teammates. Wait. This guy, Justin says, as he bursts into laughter, this is who you go to after me? This dork? Come on, Taylor, you're better than that. Alex says nothing. He just looks at Justin and then back at Taylor. Taylor shakes her head, grabs Alex's hand, and says, let's go, Alex. Justin and his friends continue laughing as he walks over to the car Taylor and Alex are getting into to leave. Seriously, Taylor? Justin, go away. So what, you left me for this guy? Justin's demeanor now shifting to sadness and humiliation. No, Justin, I left you because you were a jerk. Alex and I have only been seeing each other for a month, and he's really good to me, and I really like him, so please stop. (sighs) Taylor sighs with frustration. Wait, she broke up with you, dude? Justin's friends question from the side. Whatever, he's so ugly, Taylor. You can do better than that, Justin replies as he's leaning against the car door. Wow, you're wrong, and we're leaving. Alex, go ahead and drive, please. Taylor says, and Alex pulls away. As they approach a stoplight, Taylor turns to Alex, grabs his hand, and apologizes for what just happened. I'm so sorry. Justin is obviously my ex, and he's a jerk. I really do like you, and the things he said weren't true. I think you're handsome, she says with her hand to his face. His face leans into her hand more as he stares into her eyes and goes in for a kiss. Taylor looks at him once more. 
To me, you are. To me, you are what? Handsome. Oh. Handsome. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Alex sucks. <laughs> Why does Alex suck? He's the good guy. <laughs> well, first of all, good is relative. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, because Alex didn't say anything. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that, but I I'm glad Jack said it before me. He's a little bit shy, and he I tried to make him like the nerdy. I tried to, well, maybe I didn't no, that write that nerdy. well enough. No, you, hey, no, he was nerdy. I'm pretty nerdy. <laughs> but you'd say Still going to punch us in the face. <laughs> well, what do you guys think that the moral of this story is? Nerds! Okay. Mm is that a moral? Or is that just a... <laughs> in all capital letters, with lots yeah. of S's. Um... Hmm. Zach, you got something? Be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't top that. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what you look like or act like. It just it just matters who you are. Close. Real beauty is on the inside. Yeah, but I like be yourself <laughs> way better. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Hmm. All right. So you're saying Alex is ugly? But Taylor, <laughs> Taylor sees around that. That's what I'm hearing. Taylor doesn't think so. Taylor thinks that he's handsome. But Taylor is blind in one eye. <laughs> <laughs> but you as the writer acknowledge he's probably not so pretty. He's not he's not Justin. He's he's attractive, but in a different way. Wow. So you ugly? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. No. It feels like ugly. No. It's not okay at all. to say someone is ugly but has a great personality. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> it's okay to He's s- just different. This is how we so are. So Justin and- Justin's like Chris Hemsworth. Right. And Alex is like Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> no. Is that right? No. Is that what I'm getting? No. <laughs> he's the other Hemsworth? One he's like West Adam Ford? Brody or something. Oh, well, he's ugly. No, he's attractive. Adam Brody's not attractive. Oh, my gosh. All right, Come we're going to move on. Brody? Who the heck is Adam Brody? He was in the OC. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, you know what? I'll quickly recap on that show. So He I was a huge in the show. In the show, he was this huge we, comic book we nerd, really but he was really care. adorable. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Have no, either I want to get it like all <laughs> 17 seasons of OC recap. There's yes. only four. Please break it down season by season. Exactly I can do what is that if you want. I don't at all. <laughs> That's the show with the ridiculous like a guy gets shot while mm, what you say <laughs> plays, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the only thing I know about that show. Oh, I just want you to keep singing. Mm. I'm very good at it. You are. You're excellent. Wow. Have either of you been in a situation like this on either side? Either been the the person who is judging and laughing or been the girl, well, not the girl, but been that person. Both sides. You've been on all all of it? hmm Both sides. How did you, what, tell us your story and what your situations were. I prefer not to, but I'll give you the, I'll, I'll <laughs> the recap gist. it quick. Uh, let's see. Wh- which, well, which side do you want me to recap? Whichever one you feel like talking about. Uh, I was actually with a girl. We broke up and she ended up going to a jock. And that was just, Ugh. yeah, I actually felt sorry for her because he's an idiot. I mean, you know, he's built and all that jive. I'm like, well, enjoy your, enjoy your great conversations you're about to have. <laughs> so there's that. And I, I always see, unlike Alex, I always, I can't not say something and I'm very much a smart ass. So I would, I had words, I had words and I had the flip side where I had somebody, you know, I was, cause I'm kind of nerdy and I, well, I'm not kind of, I am nerdy. And, you know, I wasn't always as good looking. <laughs> so there there was a time when I was dating somebody who people felt like was uh, above my pay grade, as some say. <laughs> and I ran into her ex and he wanted to tell me how below her pay grade I am and that sort of thing. Aww. And so I just made him feel, I just went back and forth with him verbally. There was no violence or anything else, but I would have if I had to, but there's no need to it. I mean, you can... If you're quick enough and you're sharp enough, you can make someone who's obviously not. I don't care how many things you lift. If you're still dumb, you're just dumb. So you just <laughs> address people like that with intelligence, and they have a hard time coming back to that. Okay. You're ugly. Yeah, but I'm going to get a job. What are you going to do? Go play football? Sure. Yeah. NFL's <laughs> not calling you. So enjoy a mobile gas station. <laughs> hey, don't knock mobile. It's a good gas I'm station. I'm not knocking it. But <laughs> when people- Always remember that, that guy's going to be pumping gas one day. Saw him years later pumping gas. True story. Oh, Pumped that's your really gas. Funny. No, he didn't. He didn't. Did you feel vindicated? <laughs> no, but he was the cashier. <laughs> that's funny. What about you, yeah, Zach? Good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think my perspective might be a little skewed because I've, you know, been on and off with the same girl since high school. Um, but what I remember of high school, I was never 
even with girlfriends who dumped me for somebody else, I was never, I never like put down the new guy. My, I would put her down. I would talk a bunch of smack to my friends, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really focus in on the new person You're so much. You're such a jerk. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not his fault. Like, it's not the new guy's fault. It's, I know, but he said yeah. he was knocking down the girl. Well, it might well, yeah, be her she fault. She broke up with me. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> she should. Even, even say my friend gets dumped and the girl is one of the coolest people I've ever met. I'm still going to dump on her because that's your, she just broke your friend's heart. Oh, that's sad. Oh, my God. Really? That's me. Like, you and your friends don't do that? Oh, yeah, he's such a jerk when some one of your friends gets dumped by a guy, even though you don't even know the dude, really, other than what she's told you, which is probably <laughs> you're like, slanted. You're like, Carl bought me those chicken fingers once. He seemed pretty all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you buy me chicken fingers. I'm I mean... just saying, that's what friends do, even if you don't necessarily agree. I, I've actually, <laughs> I'm sure we've, we've all slammed on people where we're like, you know, they don't seem bad to me, but... Obviously, this dude is really sad, so I got to make him feel better. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, it isn't like you're going around negging him. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do, by the way. No, because then you'd end up dating their ex-girlfriend. Oh, no. I was going to say, yeah, a few weeks go by, and all of a sudden, you're the new guy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, so We're gonna... and then your friend's pretending like he's okay with it, but he's clearly not. But you don't care because the chick is so hot. Yeah. We're going to change this time. Be that kind of friend. <laughs> Just in – this happened to a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. A friend. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's wink, all wink. in theory. What was the name? Packery? It's a hypo it's Packery. hypothetical. So uh, we're going to we're gonna switch gears a little bit. What makes somebody... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm, what to say? <laughs> <laughs> what makes somebody beautiful to you guys? Oh, my God. This is an annoying question. Yeah, you're going to answer it, though. It's really stupid. I don't care. Wait, what about you, Amanda, when you get dumped? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, were you were you staying on that? I've been the person who's gone from dating somebody attractive to dating somebody who is like not to the this same. This really sucks for that person you were dating. <laughs> standards, <laughs> I, I guess. Learn something. Um, and I then every can we? Just, why does nobody want to say the word ugly anymore? Well, because I mean, there you can still think that somebody's attractive. I get that. We're talking like not, when you're just looking at it from a physical standpoint, there are people that are, we can agree, are more attractive than other people. Yes. I don't think that makes them better people in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying physically, there are people that are more attractive than other people. There are people that are attractive. There are people that are ugly. It doesn't, that doesn't have anything to do with their core and who they are as people. But you have to be attracted to them on some level. So they're not ugly. They're just not as attractive as I, somebody I else. I understand that. But I feel like as a society, we're at the point because everybody's so sensitive. We can't even say that people, you look, you're just not as attractive. I don't think I'm George Clooney level. I'm okay. You're I'm not. average. I know. But see, you're okay <laughs> telling me but that. But I didn't say you're ugly. I just said you're not George Clooney. Even, and you want us to call you ugly. Even if you said that, I would be like, okay, well, then, you know, maybe I'll brush my teeth more or whatever. I'll comb my <laughs> I'll dye my hair, whatever. But Come on. It, that doesn't – the physical attributes, the reason why it bugs me, and not because I, I want to call people ugly, even though sometimes it's funny. It's because <laughs> physical attributes do not define who you are. And if you can't accept the possibility that you aren't attractive or you're less attractive, then you can't accept who you are. And it bugs me as a person because none of that matters. It matters like what kind of person you are, how you treat people, how you are to other people. That's all that matters. That's what matters. All right. Well, that's fair. So believe it or not, I'm a good person underneath. I'm not trying to say there's a bunch of ugly people running rampant. But you have. There are. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you can't say – you can't have something that's above average if you don't have average and you don't have below average. You just – there's just – scientifically, it doesn't work. Statistically, it doesn't work. I gotcha. Hey. I feel you. I pick up what you're putting down. Man. Fiery. Fire it up. Fire it up. Fire it. Okay, continue, Amanda. I cut you off. I don't, I don't even remember where I was at. But basically, I dated somebody who was not as attractive as the person before. And people made jokes. You know, they were like, Amanda, that person's ugly. <laughs> I was like, that's really mean. And that's not true. They're just maybe not as attractive physically as the person I dated before. But that doesn't see, mean they're once ugly. Again, your friends are judging that person based solely what they look like. I know. It shouldn't matter. I know. I mean, I'm not going to say if somebody comes in and they only got like one eye and their jaw is like half to the left, your friends are going to make fun of them. That's they're going to wonder happen. if they had a stroke. <laughs> but I bet you what, if they're good uh, if they're good people, I bet your friends would be all about them. Yeah, right. I re exactly. I really that. Yeah. Because that's what friends do. They might tell you, can you put a bag over their head when you bring them over? But <laughs> they're great to hang out with, just not fun to look at. 
Uh, yeah, so there's that. But for you guys, I want to know what you think makes someone beautiful to you. Now, that can be physical, that can be personality, whatever it is, however you define what makes somebody beautiful to you. And Zach, you're going to have to answer. And go first, because I just talked too long. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What a dumb question. Sorry. <laughs> That's all uh, right. You like people, you don't. Wow. That's very deep. What do you want from me? It's a, it feels like a cut and dry answer. It's a, as long as they're not a mean person, they're probably okay. So you find attractiveness in somebody's personality with how they treat others. That's definitely a big thing. Okay. Definitely a big part of me is how much they care about the little people, the little guy. What's their stance on how society treats one another? Are they? Are they? Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to work it all out. It's a, it's a tough question. <laughs> it is something I really think about. Personality and how you treat other. Well, people. sure, but that's a little. That's broad, though. My biggest thing: how you treat other people. Like seriously, how you treat other people. People that are respectful and decent to other people is way more attractive. Now, when I was 16, if you asked me this question, totally different answer. <laughs> Gonna be, boobs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just like really simple. But and I was a fat kid, so you know anybody that you know, I was like, oh, cute girl, cute girl, cute girl. I didn't care about personality. I was just happy to have a cute girl talk to me. But as I grew up, I realized it's how you treat people. That's what matters. That's all I care about. And you go like if you go out to dinner and you're with somebody, and this goes to like friends or anything, and they are rude to the waitress. I don't want to be friends with that person anymore. Yes, exactly. I, really, I just don't, and that's just not something that. I want to deal with because it's just if you can't be nice to a person who you blame for everything that goes wrong in the kitchen, I don't really want to know if I want to hang out with you. And if you don't offer to split the check, I know you're a bad person. Kind of the older I get, the more I'm on that boat, too. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys I mean, when what it comes. A, what well, about you, Amanda? What about you? The well, no, I was going to go and, and ask you guys another question beyond that that you guys didn't really touch on. But you still got to answer your own. It's the same question. I'm okay. expanding. All right. So you guys touched on the, the personality parts, but what about your, like, your type? Type? Yeah. Like your physical. I don't have a type. You know, Everybody says that. I don't have a type. Go look at I like my. Red, I like redheads. Redheads? Okay. If you go look at my, my au revoir. Your catalog. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's a variety. Bring out the Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> there's a variety. So, yeah. No, I don't have a type. You like to try all the different flavors? I mean, there's a reason why Baskin Robbins is a thing. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Well, um, you had asked me about mine, and I would say for sure no, the one I of kinda, the- We kind of moved on from yours. Oh, but, all right. But well, if you want fine. to, go ahead. I was gonna... Also, I'm an, I'm an ass man. I don't know if we covered that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. There you go. We want to we wanna throw that out there. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Pilates. <laughs> You had mentioned the wait staff, and that's a huge thing. The way that you treat a waiter or waitress, the way that you treat people in general, but especially- We just say server now. Server. Okay. Actually, I would go, I would extend that. Uh, it really applies to any service industry. If we're like at a Kmart, is that still a thing? Or Walmart, whatever. Customer service go. positions. Or if they're too good to go into Walmart, that's another thing. That's beside the point. But if they're rude to people, like to me, it's just see people as, you know, they're trying to do their job. Mm -hmm. they're really not out to get you. Now, some people are just jackasses at those kind of things, but it's how you treat people. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, and the other thing I was going to say is the way that they treat my friends and my family. That's going to reflect how they're going to treat me too and reflects how they feel about me. Because if you're, if you're rude to my family or my friends, which you know are significantly important to me, then you obviously don't have respect for me. So I think of it like how do you treat strangers and how do you treat the people that I care about? Because then I'm going to figure out how you're going to treat me. Now, whether I figure that out sooner or later is a different question. I but. can't remember whether the strangers, because people that you care about, people will fake for a while. So there's some well, acting going on. But strangers, I mean, like customer service sorts of yeah, things. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Str I'd put more faith in the strangers than I would the family. Yeah. Okay. But I get that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm just letting you, I'm giving you a date and tip. People lie, <laughs> they, <laughs> they fake do. it. But when you're in a retail or a restaurant, it's harder to fake it. They're not always on the ball there. Keep an eye on that. Good to know. But yeah, so there, I feel like we're all kind of on the same page in terms of respect and your compassion. But compassion is a big thing for me. I mean, super hot helps too. That does I don't help. need super hot though. <laughs> I didn't say I need it. I just said it helps. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. 
You have to be, I feel like we're all also on the same page. Well, I don't know about Zach too. You haven't weighed in on this, but intelligence, like that feels like for all of us because we like to have conversations and we like to talk about different types of topics and sometimes deeper topics. Intelligence and having the ability to have a conversation is big for all of us too. Yeah. I really, I really enjoy a good debate. Somebody you can just fight with. <laughs> like I'd- physically? <laughs> no, like no, have, yeah, have have debates, and you can both have different opinions, and at the end of it, you still both have different opinions, but you can still yep. watch Game of Thrones afterwards. Okay, that's, that's hard to find. Yeah. yeah, you won't find them on the internet very often. Well, sure, <laughs> it's not designed for that. That's true. It's troll central. So bridges are so much easier to cross. Get what? Because you just have to pay the tr- troll. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. I did not Someone get that. Someone chuckled. Yeah. Yeah. I bet they did. Or they, that was probably them turning the radio. It wasn't really a chuckle. It was just yeah. like. The radio. <laughs> I said radio like I'm a Rory <laughs> <Right>. phone. <laughs> so do you guys think that beauty is only in the eye of the beholder? Or can we say no. that some things are universally beautiful? <laughs> no. Sure. Because Gal Gadot is objectively beautiful. What's that? So Gal Gadot, objectively beautiful. <laughs> That's true. She is. I feel like most people will agree. Physically and personality-wise. There is no opinion here. It's hard science. <laughs> it's true. I I don't really get the question, I guess. Do you – well, I mean, do you think that there are some things in this world, not even just specifically with people, that are universally beautiful to everyone? Or do you think that it oh, is yeah, all yeah. just based I mean, water, off of – waterfalls, mountains, vistas. I mean, there's a lot of things that are universal. So nature and I don't, I don't care about any of those things. You don't think any of them are beautiful? I don't think a waterfall is beautiful, no. Oh, well, then this changes things. Well, maybe I, I don't consider him part of my universe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess most beauty probably is subjective, but I think there are exceptions. Like Gal Gadot. Gadot. I said her right. name wrong. Jason Momoa. He's hot to anybody I've ever asked. True. I think that there seems to be some objective beauty in humans, but that's probably, that's probably something biological, honestly. There are people that feel completely... Just we're just never on the same page. I know. I know. Um, someone I work with <laughs> thinks Jim Parsons is hot. What? Yeah, Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. And I, every time they say that, I just laugh. I'm like, really, Sheldon? Okay. I kind of want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, teach their own. But see, beauty is always in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. Even though waterfalls are always beautiful, Zach's wrong. Okay. No, you know what? You know what's really beautiful? A lighthouse on the edge of a cliff. Hey, that I'm, is beautiful. Uh, that is beautiful. That's beautiful. As long as there's no earthquake, because then it would fall, and that would not be there. And then it would crush somebody. It would just be a light, ha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say if an earthquake happens and a light fall falls over and crushes somebody, then we've got a great story for Smirk. Oh, right there. We that. do. Write it. Huh? Write it. <laughs> so what do you think? Is my story truth or fiction? Truth. Truth. Is that a new word? Truth. Truth. Yeah. I think people have said it before. Truth. Yeah. I'll go with truth. Fiction. Ah. Well, it could be true. It could be true, but it's oh, not. Oh, it is true. <laughs> it's true. It happens all the time. All right. that happened all right. Alex, you sucker. Get out of the <laughs> car. And I was Alex's friend, and I made fun of him afterwards because he didn't say anything. I would, too. I mean, come <laughs> on, you pansy. It's hard to be friends with somebody who's just going to sit there and cry about it. Get up. Yeah. Come on, man. Defend defend yourself. You don't have to You really fight. should. Just yeah. say something. Just say something. I mean, in this day and age, do people really, fight, like, though. do people do people's friends really help them beat up the nerd? Do they still do that? Is that still a thing? I think that only happens in movies. Yeah, I think so, too. They, I think they still, I don't think they define it by being a nerd. I think if you're ugly, you might get picked on and beat up. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it happens. happens the way TV and movies think it does. No, I'm seeing, I've, I've been there. I've seen well, people. This is weird. Why would you beat up somebody who's ugly? He's already having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have answers for that. Yeah, it's always the beautiful people who think they're better. And most beautiful people are not. True story. True. Sure, if all sure. you do is look in a mirror all day, mm, unless you're listening to Smirk, you're probably a jackass. <laughs> you know what? Even if you are listening. Whoa, whoa. No, no. Don't say that. They're all good. All good. Go You're ahead. all beautiful people. Keep looking. You all You know what? If you, if you treat serving staff like trash, I don't want you listening. That's probably true. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just continue to like listen to the episode and get the download? Tell your you serving just staff. Download it, just you don't have to listen. Right. <laughs> All right, Amanda, so what's the title of your story? To me, you are. You are what? 
handsome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aaron, Aaron's just mad because nobody's ever actually called him handsome. That's true. It's very sad. Oh, that is sad. It makes me sad. You're handsome. Sad just... but true. It happens. It happens. You know what? And I've accepted it. I'm okay being ugly. I'm fine with it. I don't get mad because it doesn't. it's not who I am. Didn't you say earlier that you weren't a bad looking guy? So you already I mean, accepted I know that the, you're not ugly. You guys can say it. I know the truth. All right. So, <laughs> as our show goes, we will occasionally pick listener stories to read and discuss on Smirk. If you'd like to have the chance to have yours read, email to my story at smirkpodcast.com. I think our next one will be. Real quick, we wanted to mention that we are up for a podcast award. If you're a fan of Smirk, if you want to go to podcastawards.com, that's podcastawards.com, you do a quick little setup. They just want to verify that your vote is legit. And then with every email address you have, you can vote for Smirk under Society and Culture. And if you need more information, go to smirkpodcast.com. We have a post for it to help you out. Join the conversation by joining our Facebook group or follow us on Twitter at Smirk Podcast. Be sure to use the show's hashtag Smirk. Please share the show with your friends and review us. We really do appreciate it. And the website is smirkpodcast.com. Amanda, you ready to take us out of this I, episode of Smirk? I am. Can you do it with a little beauty in your voice? I can try. As you write your own life story, always remember to tell it with a smirk. I didn't say sexualize nah, it. I didn't sexualize ugly, it. it. Yeah, it was pretty ugly. Oh, right? that's mean. It's pretty hideous. Oh, you guys are rude. You're not handsome anymore. Can't take it back. He never was. <laughs> oh. oh, ouch. <laughs> oh. All right, what's the title of your story? You still don't know? <laughs> I forgot it for a second. There's a spider that's really affecting Where? me. Where? Right behind over there. He's huge. I can see him from here. I don't even see it. Oh, There's, he's huge. I can see his legs. You get powers if he bites you. I don't want powers. Hang on, Zach. <laughs> he's been, he moves fast. He's dead. Are you sure? I'm positive. He's a smudge in the wall. Okay. His Good. leg is on the floor. Good. Now this should be in the outtakes. Jesus. <laughs> I'm glad I had to stop for that. <laughs> Thank you. There are heroes in the world.